green energy, the windmills, they don't work. Hi, I'm Alonzo Bowden. Now listen, I don't like talking about Donald Trump. I like talking about Donald Trump even less than Merrick Garland likes talking about Donald Trump and uh, it should be his job. But when Donald Trump goes on the Full Send podcast, now I don't know what it is either, but it's got over a million subscribers and there he is. He's on the Full Send podcast. They ask him about Putin, about attacking Ukraine, about the war, and Donald Trump responds with a rant against windmills. Hmm. They're too expensive. They kill all the birds. They ruin your landscapes. And yet the environmentalists love the windmills. And I've been preaching this for years. Oh, yeah. He responded against windmills like the question was about windmills. I love that his cult says Biden is losing it. He answered a war question with windmills. That's right. This is beyond dementia. This is beyond any street drugs. This is a personal war in his head with windmills. Or... It might be the most brilliant insanity defense ever. What? What would Donald and the wind thing? I, I'm not sure what. No, they're all in. Damn those windmills. Oh, and this fight isn't just domestic. Don has gone international. That's right, Scotland. He bought a golf course in Scotland, and right away he started complaining because they wanted to build windmills in the ocean. He said no. People want to see the ocean. They don't want to see windmills. An expert on tourism. If you dot your landscape with these horrible, horrible structures, you will do tremendous damage. My question is... Many countries have decided they don't want wind because it doesn't work without massive subsidies. It kills massive amounts of birds and wildlife. You would probably still see the ocean even if there was windmills coming out of it. But anyway... He took this fight all the way to Parliament. Now, here was his first mistake. He started with, I'm an expert on tourism. Listen, Donald Trump, if you want to win an argument, don't open with you being an expert on anything. The Scottish aren't that dumb. They're not that easily fooled. But he went on to tell them how ugly the windmills would be and how the windmills would ruin their tourism and nobody would want the windmills. So what did the Scottish do? They went ahead and built the windmills. And then... They got the, sued him and got the money to pay for this ridiculous fight he had against windmills. You know something? That could be why he hates windmills. They cost him money. And this being the Scottish government in Scotland, he probably had to pay. Probably couldn't even declare bankruptcy or blame it on anyone else. Fortunately, I'm sure he started a GoFundMe and his followers, the anti-windmill people, probably paid for the whole thing. I don't know what you're doing tomorrow, but I'm heading out to Palm Desert. That's right, beautiful Palm Desert, Palm Springs, that area of California, and I'm getting one of those cheap houses. You know why? Because there's windmills nearby. Do you really think there's a cheap house in Palm Springs, California? Hmm, probably not. As for windmill cancer, I'm not too worried about it. I'm pretty sure my Obamacare will cover my windmill cancer care. That, that, that is a pre-existing condition or something, isn't it? Now here's the kicker, and this is the one you know no one on the Trump team would ever dare tell him. The three states with the highest number of windmills, the three states that generate the most electricity with wind would be Texas, Iowa, and Oklahoma. That's right, three red states. The red states are using wind. Does he know this? Shouldn't they be burning clean coal from West Virginia or something like that, they're using wind. Hmm. This must be part of AOC's secret plot to kill the voters in the red states. Yeah, she's going to get them windmill cancer. Don't tell QAnon, but AOC's at it again. Listen, you have one ex-president who's tilting against windmills. You have a current sitting president who's making windmill cancer jokes. I got to go with Biden on this one. He's a little sharper on his windmill game. Why are we talking about windmills right now? Let me tell you something. I have never wanted to be a billionaire, okay? I like money as much as the next person, but I'm not crazy. I don't want to make billions. But if I were as rich as Jeff Bezos and could build any yacht in the world the way Bezos did, I would build a yacht with a giant windmill on it and sail right past Mar-a-Lago. Why? Because I'm just that kind of guy. Windmills. I wasn't so pro windmill before, but now I am all in. I might even move to Texas.